not a billionaire, I don't drive a super fancy car, and I've made more mistakes in real estate than I'd like to admit. However, I've also amassed a portfolio of rental units and flipped or wholesaled a variety of properties that have provided me with enough income to support my family whether I maintain a day job or not, and I've purchased almost every property using little or no money of my own. I don't say this to brag. The truth is, I didn't jump into creative finance because I was some super genius or because I was trying to achieve some astronomical return on investment. I jumped into the world of creative finance because, frankly, I was broke. I acquired most of my early properties while I was either self-employed or working for less than $15 an hour. I simply had no choice. Be creative or don't invest at all. Along the way, I've made a lot of mistakes, wasted a lot of time, and made more than a few bad investments. However, the many lessons I've learned from it all have made me the investor I am today. So my hope is that I can now share those with you. All that said, this book is not about me. This book is about you and your future. No matter what your past has been or how much money is in your checking account, this book is about giving you the educational tools you need to start investing in real estate, whether you have a million dollars in the bank or six bucks to your name. It's not about being broke or irresponsible. I realize that creative real estate investing holds a special appeal for people who have absolutely no money in their checking account. But I want to be clear that I don't equate creative real estate investing with having no money. Yes, the two often go together, but that's not what this book is about. After all, no matter how much money you have in your bank account or IRA, there will always be real estate that you cannot afford. There is always another level, and getting to that level requires a strong commitment to creative real estate investing. Even the most wealthy and successful real estate investors use a heavy amount of creative finance to continue their business. I would even argue that their skills at buying real estate with no or low money down are what have contributed most to their success. Therefore, this book is for you if you are interested in doing more deals, enjoying more cash flow, and increasing your income through creative real estate investing. This book is not about getting rich. Yes, fortunes have been made in real estate, and some of those fortunes have been made rather quickly. However, for the vast majority of real estate investors, this is simply not going to happen, and I'm not promising you anything different. This book is about applying creativity as leverage to acquire real estate, and this doesn't happen overnight. Building up a portfolio can take years, and the speed at which that portfolio grows depends heavily on a healthy dose of luck, location, and timing. That said, please don't be discouraged. Creative real estate investing truly is an amazing vocation that can transform your future and the financial destiny of your family forever, and I'm really excited to share with you the strategies I've used throughout my career. Who is this book for? There are hundreds of ways to make money in real estate and hundreds of books written about each of the various strategies. Therefore, I think we should discuss who this book is for before we jump headfirst into the content. This book is for anyone interested in investing in real estate using other people's money. Whatever strategy you expect to use or niche you plan to enter, I believe the lessons in this book can help you find greater success. Although I am primarily a buy and hold real estate investor, interested in the extra monthly income, the cash flow that owning numerous rental properties can provide, and even though I tend to mix in the occasional flip or wholesale deal just to keep things interesting, rental properties are my bread and butter and my area of expertise. That said, the lessons in this book will apply for those looking to engage in all types of real estate investing. In fact, Chapter 9 alone of this book deals exclusively with the concept of real estate wholesaling and finding amazing deals, so be sure to stick around for that. You can afford it. For the past six years, every week I've had the honor of sitting down with successful real estate investors on the Bigger Pockets podcast to ask them about how they've built their business, the successes they've had, the failures they've faced, and more. And perhaps the most popular segment of the show comes at the end during the famous four. Four questions we ask every guest every week. The first question is simple but powerful. What is your favorite real estate book? The number one answer given by at least 80% of our guests thus far has been the same. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. 
I am amazed by the sheer number of investors out there who credit this one simple book as the inspiration for their investing career, and I'm right there with them. This book was a huge turning point for me and motivated me to start thinking about my financial future in a new light. Although not a textbook for...